Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna pick up from where we left off the last time on our topic of database availability groups and what DAG allows you to do is to have passive copies of your database so that in the event of a server or mailbox database failure you can actually make use of the passive copies that you may have on the other servers in your database availability group so it's a high availability solution for Exchange 2010 so we're gonna begin by creating our DAG under the database availability groups tab we're gonna select new database availability group type in a name anything that you want and also we need to specify a witness server uh, you can switch for witness server the reasons for witness server is to add an additional vote in your quorum configuration but that is outside the scope of this tutorial maybe I will explain it uh, in, a l in a later tutorial but for now we're going to use a domain controller for the witness server it can actually be any server machine on your domain that is 2003 or 2008 OS and then we're going to specify the name of a file witness directory again anything you anything that you want then we're going to select new and then we're going to see an error here that's going to pop up and this is due to permissions that we need to specify on our server that I did not do so I'm going to click on finish and then we're going to go through this again but what you need to do to get rid of that we need to go to server the name of the computer and ensure that it is part of the exchange trusted system subsystem subsystem I think it is group so I'm going to type exchange exchange trusted subsystem group it needs to be part of that and also we need to ensure that this group is a member of local admins on the domain controller named server so under the administrators group now ideally you would not want to put it on a DC because then that would mean that you would have to add it as a domain admin but for now that's the only server that I have available so I'm gonna type in the name of the group and press ok and there we go so I'm just gonna delete this database availability group and go through back the procedure new database availability group again it's the same domain control that we are, that we are using and then the shared folder and hopefully, hopefully we should get any errors this time okay so uh, this error is a bit uh, misinformative because that it does not really need to be part of the exchange server security group but rather the exchange server trusted subsystem group so when I click on finish and then we should see our exchange group database availability group now that we've done that we need to add our servers to this group so I'm just gonna right click and manage database availability group membership and then we can add a server to the D to the DAG or select an existing member so we're gonna click on add and then we're gonna see a list of exchange servers and we're gonna add the both of them to our DAG groups and then 
click on manage So, so while that is taking place, let's look at a couple of changes that were made as we created the DAG. If you look into the computer section of Active Directory, you're going to see the group, the exchange DAG name as an actual computer name. And if we take a look at Failover Cluster Manager, we'll see the exchange DAG group being created. And then, so far, one node has been added to the Cluster Manager. So it's still being created, so this may take a while. Okay, so there we go, we just added both servers. I actually received an error when trying to add this one. So I had to go back through the wizard and add back exh new 2 and then the error was gone. So it was, by the way, it was some error about a Windows RM service. So this ran back the 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 add to the database availability group and it worked fine. So I'm going to click on finish here and now we have our member servers exch new 2 and exch new. Right and then our Windows witness server sorry and then the witness directory. So we have we have, we have we have pretty much everything set up for our database availability group and then if we go to the windows field of a clustering we should see both nodes listed so expand the DAG and we have both nodes installed 